She's a squirter, boys. Come on, let's get serious here. All right, it's time to get serious, though. I'm going to address a comment and a message that I see a lot. How did you start your own business and get the amount of work that you got? Well, as most of you know, I'm no fucking rocket scientist. But what I am pretty good at is social media. And in the early stages of what I do now, on my personal Facebook page, I carried over my plumbing videos and photos from Instagram to my personal Facebook page. And I did it almost daily, so I was fresh in everybody's minds. And it wasn't a business Facebook page, because nobody pays attention to a business Facebook page. Let's be real here. It was my personal one that I had for years that I, all my local friends and family are on. So they constantly seen that I was doing plumbing work and, uh, and I was finishing the job. And when you do it to social media, it's extremely easy to just share a post or a name. It's just a button. So if somebody's looking for a plumber, you just go right on your Facebook. You're like, listen, I know this guy. He's an idiot, but don't worry about it. He does pretty good work. And then you share the page and that's, you get your name out there. So for about a year, I worked day and night working for a larger company and then doing my own thing at night. And I didn't think that it was going to turn out to be what it is. Now we got to cap a couple of gas lines in some apartments. So we're making sure the meters are off so we can get that done. So it took about 11 months and my wife said to me, you're either going to have to slow down or you're going to jump ship. Those are your two options because I was working day and night. And it was time, so I made it happen. And the first day was the scariest, and I'll tell you what, I'll never look back again. At the end of my career, we had to sign a sheet at 6 a.m. and have it emailed over to somebody saying that we were all on site at 6 a.m. I will never do that again, ever. Life is too short to have that many bosses. I only got one boss, and it's the superstar. There's 24 hours in a day, and work does not have to be a certain eight. It can be whatever works for your lifestyle. And you can make that happen if you put yourself out there. It also took me 15 years to figure that out. I've been plumbing since 2006. So I see some other people saying, hey, I'm going for my license. And as soon as I get my license, I'm going to open my own business. Hey, everybody's different and it may work out for you. I know for a fact that if I would have done this any earlier, it wouldn't have worked out for me. Not only did I get the experience that I needed on the job to be backed into a corner as a one-man show, just the the wise, just getting older and understanding life better. So it just, as soon as I got my license, I was able to move into a van and do commercial service alone. So I got backed in a corner and that's how you figure your way out. Then I moved up into small projects and I ran those jobs, maybe got an apprentice, but for the most part, you were alone. So you had to figure that out. Then I got to the larger scale jobs and that's when I knew it was it was time. But uh, Rigid sent me this gun, the RP-115. I think they want to see Superstar in the calendar shoot for maybe July or August. We do have her with the RP-350. And uh, be on the lookout. It's coming soon, real quick. Never know. Maybe next week.